Natural Language Processing Specialization on Coursera. What do we know about it? Well, first of all, it's the top NLP course on the platform. Currently, it has over 100,000 students enrolled and a high rating of 4.6 out of 5. But is it really worth your attention? My name is Daniel and today I will talk about the Natural Language Processing Specialization on Coursera. As usual, I will talk about things like program overview, structure and content, pricing and certification, career opportunities. And of course, I will tell you what I personally think about this specialization. Also, guys, I will leave all course-related links in the description down below. Feel free to check them out, after watching this video, you might find some discounts there. Ok, let's start. Over you. Alright, so what is this specialization about? Well, guys, this is a four-course learning program that will take you about three or more months to learn. It all depends on how much time you can spend on it. The good thing is that there is no strict schedule here, so you can learn at your own pace. And by the way, the fact that there are only four courses here doesn't mean it's superficial. I want to say this specialization program teaches you some solid stuff. In a way, it's pretty unique. Here is what you will be able to learn here. Cutting edge techniques. This specialization teaches you the latest and greatest techniques straight from recent academic papers. Practical NLP use cases. You will learn how to handle everyday NLP tasks like autocorrect and autocomplete. But it doesn't stop there, folks. This course also delves into advanced deep learning methods for things like chatbots and question answering. From basic to advanced. Starting from the basics, you will journey to the stage where you can build super cool attention models. These models allow for parallel computing which is pretty cutting edge stuff. Heads on learning. And what I am especially happy about is not just about using pre-built packages. Not at all. You will actually learn how to build those powerful models from scratch. The instructors will guide you through each step. From processing the data to creating finished products. Ready for your own projects. Weekly projects. To make sure you really grasp the concepts, you will complete one project every single week. That's a total of 16 programming assignments. It's all about getting that kids on experience and putting your newfound skills to work. Guys, it's worth mentioning that this course series isn't designed for complete beginners. It was made for intermediate learners. And this means that you will have to come prepared with these things. A good understanding of machine learning basics. Intermediate Python programming skills. Especially when it comes to deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow or PyTorch. Proficiency in linear algebra, calculus and statistics. Basically, this specialization is for students studying machine learning or artificial intelligence. And if you are a software engineer who wants to dive deeper into NLP concepts, it would be great for you too. Instructors. Guys, this course is designed and taught by two NLP, machine learning and deep learning experts. One of them is Yunus Benso de Mori. He is an AI instructor at Stanford University. Another one is Lukas Kaiser. He is a staff research scientist at Google Brain. He is the co-author of TensorFlow and the brains behind Tensor to Tensor and Trux libraries. So guys, you know you are in the good hands for this NLP journey. Content. Alright, so like I said, there are four courses in this specialization program. Here they are. Natural language processing with classification and vector spaces. Natural language processing with probabilistic models. NLP with sequence models and NLP with attention models. And I have to say, each course here packs a lot of content and takes from 21 to 33 hours to complete. That's why they are all divided into 3 or 4 modules. All in all, you are expected to invest about 4 weeks into each course. I was happy to see that this course gets quite heads on. You get to do quizzes, programming assignments and practical labs in Jupyter Notebook and every step of your way. But more importantly, you also get to work on 4 big projects. One in each course. As you can see, guys, there is some serious work to do here. Pricing and certification. Ok, now let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, guys, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. And just so you know, it's not part of the Coursera Plus package. So keep that in mind. And I get it, guys. This might not sound like a great deal. But think about it. Compare it to the time and money you will be dropping on the college degree. Starting to make sense, right? Now let's talk about certification. When you successfully complete the entire certification program, you will also get a career certificate. And it can be a nice addition to your LinkedIn profile or your resume. But folks, let me be straight with you. 
In my opinion, the practical skills and knowledge you gain here are more valuable than the certificate itself. Based on my experience, employers are often more impressed by your professional knowledge and skills than the certificates you hold. Career opportunities So, as I am sure many of you wondering, does this program help you find a job? Well, guys, I can say that potentially it does. Because this course teaches you some solid skills. And that kind of knowledge can definitely boost your chances of finding a better paying job. On the other hand, it's not designed to prepare you for a job search. It's made to teach you some skills to add to your existing skill set. That's why, guys, it's completely up to you if you want to use it as a stepping stone in your career or just a way to extend your knowledge. In any case, it's likely you will need to take some other courses or learning programs. Moreover, according to my experience, some interview preparation will be necessary too, especially if landing a high-paying position is your goal. Student reviews Ok, and now let's take a look at student reviews. Well, guys, based on the feedback I have seen, the majority of students are very happy about it. They like how intense this course and how challenging the practical tasks are. Here is one of the 5-star reviews I found, for example. This course is a very comprehensive one and covers all state-of-the-art techniques used in NLP. It's quite an advanced level course and a good Python coding skill is a must. But as it happens with every learning program, there is some criticism too. Some students complain that explanations in these video lectures were insufficient. Others note that the content in the last two courses is too challenging. Course 4 is way more advanced than the previous three courses. If you are not familiar with TensorFlow or the architect for deep learning, it will be a bit hard to keep up with content. Also, the video do not cover enough details and sometimes it is difficult to understand the upgrade notebooks. That said, I can see the course is well prepared. And if you have enough knowledge in deep learning, it will still be quite useful for you. So, folks, keep that in mind. Is the natural language processing specialization worth it? Ok, let's wrap this review with the traditional question. Should you spend your time and money on this specialization? And I would say this is a pretty solid learning program that's definitely worth taking, guys. Overall, this course feels like a graduate level journey. It's packed with deep insights and practical skills. Besides, it's way more affordable than your typical grad school program. That's why I highly recommend it for anyone who already has a solid grasp of data science and machine learning. Alright, my fellow developers, and it's all about my review of the Natural Language Processing Specialization on Coursera. Don't forget to check out the useful links in the description below, you might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching, until next time.